welcome back in this session we are going to see the blog which we have posted in our database so to see the blogs which we have posted we need to uh, open the SQLite browser since as you have seen the in Django the default database what we have is SQLite and which you can see here right so how to browse the database there is a very simple tool named SQLite browser and we have written a tutorial for that if you browse through tutorial.hellojango.com and go inside uh, the installation section and you just scroll down scroll down I believe it should be in the bottom yes so there is a SQLite uh, installation so SQLite uh, is basically a Python uh, database it is written in Python so you don't have to install any database in your system whether you are working in Linux Macintosh or the Windows uh, you just need to install the GUI for the SQLite so for Linux you uh, for Linux you need to install I mean add these repositories and uh, then update it and then install the SQLite browser for Macintosh this is the URL uh, which you can go through and you can download the .dmg file and uh, for windows uh, again you can browse through this url and you can download the .exe file and if you download and install it you will get this kind of uh, windows so this is basically the sqlite browser now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to open the database uh, of our django blog so click on open database and uh, go to desktop go inside the django blog folder and you have db.sqlite3 click on that so basically this is uh, your database uh, which has been which is created uh, while um, python manage or by uh, migrate as well as you have posted some blog so click on browse data and th this is the table list of the tables which we have click on drop down and let's see the blog post so currently uh, in previous session we have posted two blogs which two blogs you can see here and even you can see the content which we had uh, uh, posted so this is how you can browse the uh, data from in the SQLite right so cool now what we are going to do is uh, since we have the data in our uh, database and database is configured and in our previous session we have uh, modeled our uh, blog application by writing a class and uh, other stuff and then now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to make it on our uh, front end right so to make on the front end the very first thing that we need to do is we need to write the URL uh, why basically you need you need to write the URL is so let's say if you browse through uh, this particular uh, local host colon 8 port so basically this is nothing but a URL so let's say your blog uh, application home page should be the list of the blog application so you have to define a URL that uh, in your project that your list of the blog should be available on the home page right currently in currently you have uh, the default page which comes with the Django project to do that what you need to do is you open your project URL so how to open the project URL is go inside uh, the settings folder so this is the settings folder and open your uh, project URL and you can see there is a one uh, URL which we have already so let's do quickly make it uh, admin so that it would be easy uh, to remember that yes our admin uh, URL is forward slash admin now what we are going to do is we are going to add the URL for our blog 
right so it's very simple you need to add URL and R and include blog dot urls right now uh, since we have uh, used the include tag so we need to import the include tag here include and save this uh, urls dot py now uh, you can see here something we are referring the blog dot urls so blog is nothing but an application which we have created so this is the application which we are talking about and in blog urls if you go inside the blog apps uh, let's check for the urls.py so i believe uh, there is no urls.py right so what we need to do is we need to create a urls.py uh, right click on that particular folder blog apps folder say new file and uh, create a python file urls.py and since you have created uh, newly you don't have any any content over there right so the first thing that we need to do is we need to import the django url which is our uh, project url so to do that you need to first import it from django conf urls import url from import views we'll discuss about what is views in the coming session now define a url pattern and write it this regex expression you can uh, do the googling and see it's a very important for django with the dollar sign and so right and views dot let's say we are uh, going to add the list of the post on our home page so let's call it post list so we'll give post underscore list and name equals to post list so this is how we can make so basically uh, here what we are doing is we are uh, referring a views uh, which is going to be uh, a python file uh, where we need to write our logic and uh, so basically how this function is uh, when if you would like to uh, make your blog list post list appear on the home page so project url the very first url which we have configured we have we are mentioning here just refer the blog dot urls right so after this it will go inside the url urls uh, dot py inside the blog apps and uh, blog uh, url will check that whether the whether the url is there or not so url is there and we are referring here now you refer the views inside the blog dot url right so now just save this one and uh, let's open the uh, project and check it out right so i mean it's not running now open the terminal you can uh, see here uh, there is some error on the terminal no module name url url less right so seems like we have did some mistake it should be url and let's run the project again so no it's something somewhere else also we have made mistake so it should be URL 
and right great so here uh, that url is uh, error has gone now the another error has come came uh, that error is attribute error module object has no attribute post list right so what it mean is the url is working properly and as i said the url is redirecting to the views.py and we since we have uh, imported the views so basically which views the views inside the blog apps so if you can see inside the blog folder and goes inside views so here basically it redirecting to this particular page and there is no uh, views available for this blog sorry post list that is the reason your terminal has the attribute error so it is very important to understand in django that what are the what actually the error uh, is reflecting whether in terminal or in the browser so if you are generating an ability to read the error and understand it probably it is going to help you in your development journey so what we are going to do in the next session is we are going to define our views for this url where the list of the posts should appear on the home page so thank you so much for watching this screencast see you in the next one